it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. The ability to observe without evaluating is the highest form of intelligence. You must understand the whole of life, not just one little part of it. That is why you must read, that is why you must look at the skies, that is why you must sing and dance and write poems and suffer and understand for all that is life. It is truth that liberates not your effort to be free. One is never afraid of the unknown. One is afraid of the known coming to an end. Real learning comes about when the competitive spirit has ceased. Tell your friend that in his death, a part of you dies and goes with him. Wherever he goes, you also go. He will not be alone. Governments want efficient technicians, not human beings, because human beings become dangerous to governments and to organized religions as well. That is why governments and religious organizations seek to control education. The more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. Self-knowledge has no end. You don't come to an achievement, you don't come to a conclusion. It is an endless river. Tradition becomes our security, and when the mind is secure, it is in decay. To understand the immeasurable, the mind must be extraordinarily quiet, still. You can only be afraid of what you think you know. If you begin to understand what you are without trying to change it, then what you are undergoes a transformation. Do not repeat after me words that you do not understand. Do not merely put on a mask of my ideas for it will be an illusion, and you will thereby deceive yourself. Happiness is strange. It comes when you are not seeking it. When you are not making an effort to be happy, then unexpectedly, mysteriously, happiness is there, born of purity, of a loveliness of being. The constant assertion of belief is an indication of fear. Thought is so cunning, so clever, that it distorts everything for its own convenience. Follow the wandering, the distraction, find out why the mind has wandered, pursue it, go into it fully. When the distraction is completely understood, then that particular distraction is gone. When another comes, pursue it also. It is only when the mind is free from the old that it meets everything in you and in that there is joy. If we can really understand the problem, the answer will come out of it, because the answer is not separate from the problem. The ending of sorrow is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge is always within the shadow of ignorance. Meditation is freedom from thought and a movement in the ecstasy of truth. Meditation is explosion of intelligence. When you once see something as false, which you have accepted as true, 
as natural, as human, then you can never go back to it. Passion is a rather frightening thing, because, if you have passion, you don't know where it will take you. All ideologies are idiotic, whether religious or political, for it is conceptual thinking, the conceptual word, which has so unfortunately divided man. The primary cause of disorder in ourselves is the seeking of reality promised by another. There is no end to education. It is not that you read a book, pass an examination, and finish with education. The whole of life, from the moment you are born to the moment you die, is a process of learning. When one loses the deep intimate relationship with nature, then temples, mosques and churches become important. To understand life is to understand ourselves, and that is both the beginning and the end of education. If one observes, one will see that the body has its own intelligence. It requires a great deal of intelligence to observe the intelligence of the body. The very desire to be certain, to be secure, is the beginning of bondage. It's only when the mind is not caught in the net of certainty and is not seeking certainty that it is in a state of discovery. The idea of ourselves is our escape from the fact of what we really are. Intelligence is the capacity to perceive the essential, the what is, and to awaken this capacity in oneself and in others is education. The word innocence means a mind that is incapable of being hurt. Happy is the man who is nothing. What you are, the world is, and without your transformation, there can be no transformation of the world. The ending is the beginning and the beginning is the first step and the first step is the only step. The only freedom is the freedom from the known. Teaching is not the mere imparting of knowledge, but the cultivation of an inquiring mind. Living in the present is the instant perception of beauty and the great delight in it, without seeking pleasure from it. An idealist is a hypocrite, because he is always trying to become what he is not, instead of being and understanding what he is. Fear is the destructive energy in man. It withers the mind, it distorts thought, it leads to all kinds of extraordinarily clever and subtle theories, absurd superstitions, dogmas, and beliefs. The day you teach the child the name of the bird, the child will never see that bird again. Do you know what time is? Not by the watch, not chronological time, but psychological time. It is the interval between idea and action. We all want to be famous people and the moment we want to be something, we are no longer free. Most people 
are afraid to stand alone. They are afraid to think things out for themselves, afraid to feel deeply, to explore and discover the whole meaning of life. The highest form of human intelligence is to observe yourself without judgment. The important thing is first to find out what you are afraid of, to understand it and not run away from it. You have to be a light to yourself in a world that is utterly becoming dark. The greater the outward show, the greater the inward poverty. The moment you are conscious that you are humble, you are not humble. So happiness is not a thing to be pursued, it comes. But if you seek it, it will evade you. If you do not change now, your future will be the same. This is logical. This is sane. But to run away from fear is only to increase it. One of the major causes of fear is that we do not want to face ourselves as we are. A profession is only a part of life, but there are also those parts which are hidden, subtle, and mysterious. All of life is the study of attention. Where your attention goes, your life follows. One relies on authority because one is afraid to stand alone. We never actually listen to what somebody else is saying. We are always translating what others are saying. Beware of the man who offers you a reward in this world or in the next. He who has forgotten his childhood and lost sympathy with the children is not a man who can teach them or help them. Truth is in everyone. It is not far. It is not near. It is eternally there. The desire to use others for your psychological necessities makes for dependence. And when you depend, you must hold, possess, and what you possess, possesses you. One society will condemn those who believe in God and another society will condemn those who do not. They are both the same. We don't just love and leave it there, but we ask something in return. And in that very asking, we become dependent. 